Hello, veteran 021 here. Welcome back, and we are let's hating Shit Fantasy 8. In the last episode, we did some screwing around here in Dole. We did some dog training. Some dog training, man. I can't believe this training. We're just, we're just, we're just, this, it's like dog training. Yeah, that was Cypher's outburst in the last episode. It was pretty lame, too. I might add. But yeah, we're talking to these uh, Dole soldiers, I guess. And this guy used to play at the communication tower. Wow. Oh, I was careless. Ugh. Anyways, let's keep going. Uh-oh. Oh, what are they doing there, huh? Oh, help! Ooh. Okay. Alright, we got a new enemy here. Anacondor. This guy's spell list and item list changes as he levels up. But, you know what? That's pretty much every enemy in this game. And yeah, Cypher wants the experience for himself because he's a bitch. Whatever. I might just oblige him and, uh... Well, actually, you know, I think I'm just gonna card this guy. I don't know how much HP he has, but I'm gonna try and card him. Now, basically how card works is you need to get the enemy down to about, I don't know, maybe like... a fifth of their HP or something like that, and then, uh... you can card them easier. It's kinda like... it, it works kinda like, uh... uh... I guess, uh... What was the other game they played that was kind of similar uh, in that regard, where you got to put the enemy's HP down? Uh, I think it wor works similar to the, uh, I don't know, I don't can't remember. I know it's similar to another Final Fantasy game, I just can't think of what right now. Come on, Zell. Oh, it's not dead after that? Ooh, it's squeezing us. Oh my goodness. Come on! Card this freaking guy already. There we go. Yeah, you gotta whittle down their HP and then you can card them. And the interesting thing about carding enemies is, for one, you get their card. You have a chance to get higher level cards randomly. But the biggest catch is you don't receive experience. And that is the biggest reason why you want to use the card ability, ability in this game. Just to control your levels, keep them keep them low, and we got dragon skin, huh? Yeah, we learned some boost abilities. Okay. Yeah, that does suck. Police. Yeah, okay. Whatever, Zell. I thought it was fun. You little turd. Um, let's see, what am I doing next? I guess I'll go with HP Junction with uh, Shit Pickle. You know, Shiva. Yeah, the Doom Command, I have never used it. I I don't think it probably is very good at all. But maybe there, maybe it's okay. I don't know. I've never used it. And yeah, still working on strength plus 40%. I need to heal up. I got plenty of potions from... From, uh... Fighting those Galbadian soldiers, so... No worries there. Ouch! Well, at least he's still alive. Sorry for touching ya. Ooh, I hear a rumbling. I hear a rumbling going on. Ooh, we have a new enemy here. Geezerd! I'm probably gonna kill this guy in one hit, so... I better attack him with Cypher. Wow. Okay. I didn't think that would actually kill him, but yeah, those guys are weak. Their cards actually refine into uh, screws, which is a component for the junk shop, and they drop them, so whatever.
the generator. Huh. Well, they're probably doing something with the equipment. Disconnection. So they're disconnecting the cable. They're not trying to they're not trying to get chartered internet. Oh, oh they are trying to repair it. Oh, okay, that's a little confusing. What do you mean who cares? What do you mean you don't know Squall? I mean you gotta know something. Filling your dream? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Uh, okay. No, Zell, we weren't talking to you, okay? Yeah, mind your own damn business. Don't get pissed off, we don't like you, okay? You're annoying. If you would, you know, like, keep your cool and quit getting mad all the frickin' time, then we might actually like you. Damn you! Ooh, he really told him there. I mean, God. What the frick, man? Oh my gosh. It's that creepy bitch from before with 50s haircuts. Schoolgirl in a miniskirt, armed... With nunchucks, as I think is uh, the quote from Spoonie. And yes, this Ditz is our third party member. Our official third party member. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the guy that showed you around. That was so much fun. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this bitch's name is Selfie, and she is very, 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 She's annoying. That's all I'm saying. She's fucking annoying. What? Your, your romantic dream? Uh, okay, whatever. Just, go on, go on your way, Cypher. We, you're too crazy. And yeah, apparently, if we jump down there, right now like if we went over there and tried to jump that will actually lower our seed rank because our testing will um, will be lower or our score for that part of the test will be lower so yeah I I don't understand why they do certain parts of the seed ranking in this game the way they do it but when it's done I'm gonna be glad it's over because it's just stupid in this game it really is Ooh. Eh, I'll off-screen this. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna talk to Selfie again. What took you so long? It would have been much quicker if you had just jumped. You, well, you know what? Our test tells us that we're not supposed to take risks like that, okay? Yeah, you wouldn't normally jump off a cliff. Yeah, I guess so. No, there's no guessing. It's totally true, man. It's like when they, uh, like those idiots in the army that freaking told me, Oh, you should do airborne training, that way you can make a hundred more dollars a month. And I was like, no, I don't want to do airborne training. I want to be able to walk when I'm 50. So fuck you very much. Yes, everybody has a fucking girlfriend, okay? Even you, Selfie. But yeah, Selfie, she, uh... Well, she, well, she gets unequipped from Quasicola, but she inherits all of Cypher's magic, so she has basically all the stuff that he had, and yeah, I want to go with, and I want her GF, and then I want draw, I want to be able to draw with her, and uh, yeah, as far as casting magic, well, that doesn't really matter, I guess, I mean, if I summon a guardian force, obviously the magic stat determines, or helps determine the, uh, the, uh, the damage, I believe. I believe the magic stat controls that, but don't quote me on it. It could just be the uh, Guardian Forces level that determines that. And uh, those percentage boost abilities. And the boost ability on top of that. So, 
Come on, man. I took like two steps. What the fuck? Bullcrap. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna try and see if I can card this thing. Hopefully Selfie doesn't freaking kill it. There we go. Can I card it yet? Oh, these things are pretty weak. There we go. That's how you can get ability points, cards, and AP without... Oh, I just said AP. But yeah, you don't get experience, you get items, AP, and cards by, um, by using the card ability. One of the best abilities in the game, in my opinion. Because if you can keep your level low, and still learn abilities with your guardian forces, you can friggin' blow through this game, no problem. Oh, look at that, good job, you scared him away. <laughs> He's getting away? <laughs> okay, whatever. I didn't know I didn't know you were trying to capture him, selfie. See, th that's what I'm talking about with the dialogue in this game. It's just fucked up. Hey, squad B captain. Wow. This bitch is fucking dumber than shit. Ooh, the blind spell. You know what? I'm actually going to need some of those. I'm going to have selfie draw them cuz she has the highest magic stat. But yeah, 14 blinds, that'll be nice. Um I definitely need to save my game, so I'll be right back. Alright, let's go up the frickin' elevator here. Yes, let's go up. We're not gonna stay here. Whoa, this lift is pretty cool! Ugh, kids. Except, you know, these, these kids are supposed to be 17. They act a lot younger than 17. They act like they're fucking 12 or something. A monster-shaped shadow. Well, that sounds kind of serious. Uh, you gonna do something about that, Biggs? And yeah, Biggs and Weds are in this game, so... That's kind of cool. I like how they uh, put Biggs and Weds in this game, I guess. Or have that nod to FF6, I, I suppose. Probably because the other guys aren't smart enough to... Their guy. Okay. Now it's complete. Yay! Oh wow, we're just in time to see the fireworks. I'm not gonna lie, this part is actually is kind of neat. I like this FMV. The real question is, why it's Galbadia trying to fix this communication tower, huh? I don't think it ever gets explained as to why they're trying to fix this shit. Or maybe it does get explained briefly later on. I don't know. But I just know that, yeah, now we're going to be like, what do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, they're like fixing shit. Twerps? Oh no, you did it! You did not call us twerps. You're gonna pay for that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice try. Ooh, nice job. Nice job, Cypher. Ooh, 
But yeah, it's boss time. And we're going to be taking on Major Biggs. And uh, what magic does he have? Oh, uh, he has something that I'm going to draw from him. What is it? Asunas! Those are pretty good, I would say. Luckily, I have my draw 100 code in effect. So I can instantly draw 100 of them. That'll make this fight go a hell of a lot faster. Ow, oh, jerk. Oh, he's killing us. He's using a gun. It's not fair. All he got was swords and fists and nunchucks. Yeah, where were you, Wedge? Yeah, should have stayed home. <laughs> what do you have? Nothing. Okay, well, we'll just kill you then. How's that? Uh... Yeah, I've got about six or seven Bigs and Wedges card, actually. Yeah, look at that. Oh, just like that, they're gone already, huh? You guys were pussies. Uh-oh. Wow. Look at this guy, man. The wings of a bat, a bee stinger, and a great chin of Jay Leno, as Spoonie would say. But yeah, you can, uh, you, you can actually draw a guardian force from this boss. This is the Siren Summon. And you can also draw a brand new spell. A very good brand new spell, I might add. Yeah, the double spell. And again, if you were trying to do this uh, without the draw 100 code, this would take forever to do. But luckily, I don't have to worry about that because I'm already done drawing all the doubles that I'm ever going to need for right now. So, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Yeah, I gotta cast some cure here. And, uh... Can I get some limit breaks, please? No? I'm not gonna do that. I might as well show off Ass Pickle, I, I suppose. And Ifrit. And I might as well show off Shiva. Again. I don't think I should... Man, actually, I might not have shown off Shiva yet. I don't know. And yeah, I'm going to show off the boost that... Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't have it with Eeper yet. Well, I'll show it off with uh, the next song. But yeah, if you hold down the select button and you hit the square button when you learn the boost command, you can boost the power of your summons if you want. Alright, I'll try it with this one. Here's Ass Pickle. And yeah, when the X appears on the finger, you don't want to hit the button anymore. Because it'll bring the, uh, the boost back down to uh, regular. And then, yeah, when the animation is close to being done, then you can't uh, hit the square button anymore. But I think I boosted it by about, I don't know, 30% that time. Yeah, there we go. Not too shabby. I don't know how much HP this guy has because... You know what? It changes because it depends on what level you're on. So I won't be telling you how much HP any of the enemies or bosses have in this game because it varies depending on your level. And oh shit, I should be boosting right now, but yeah, I was too busy talking, fucking around. Oh well. Are you dead yet? You're not dead yet. Holy shit. You shouldn't still be alive. There we go, we got him. So yeah, I showed off some Guardian Forces, we got a new one, we got some double spells. Isn't that draw 100 code great? It makes this game so much more playable. Because that battle would have taken me forever if I was sitting there trying to draw doubles. And believe me, it's a good idea to draw double in this battle. Because it's a damn good spell for junction. 
Uh, yeah, we don't get experience, and we get two elixirs. All right, G Returners, Weapons Month March, which is a guide for the junk shop, and 14 ability points. Yay! And we get a brand new Guardian Force, the Siren Guardian Force, which is actually pretty good. She has status junctioning abilities. Squad B Captain? Excuse me, I have new orders. Oh, you're the messenger, huh? All seed members and seed candidates are to withdraw in 1900 hours. Assemble at the shore. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna miss this boat, damn it. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh my goodness, we only have 30 minutes! It's not very much time. Okay, so I'm gonna basically be showing two scenarios here. Who the hell does he think he is? Yeah, why don't you ask him, Zell? But, uh, yeah, now, uh, the time limit starts, so we're gonna go down. I'm gonna save my game really quick. And I'm going to show off two scenarios. I'm going to show off escaping without killing the super boss. And I'm going to show killing him. So. Yeah, now the timer has started. If you get back to the boat with, uh, with 25 minutes remaining, you get like a bonus to something for the seat exam. I don't know, it's stupid. You don't really have to do that, but I kind of want to get a high C rank to seed rank to start out. So I'll be right back. All right, this is a good time to end the episode. Uh, this is actually probably my favorite part in the entire game uh, coming up next. So even though I seem like I like this game right now, I really don't. I mean, it gets it fucking bottoms out later, like you wouldn't believe. But um, anyways, uh, that's all for this episode of Let's Hate Final Fantasy VIII. And the next episode, we'll do my favorite part in the game and we'll try to escape the uh, communication tower or whatever so there you go this is veteran 0121 I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time